Kat and Ivan, welcome back to Hollow Hollow, the show that aims to spotlight our very own talent. And our guest today is an actor, a dancer, a filmmaker, even a dentist. He has his very first feature film coming out in September. Meet Raul Nath. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I know. I, I know. I, you laughed when I said dentist, but I did read that <laughs> you were actually a full-time dentist at one time. I was. Yeah. I um. It was a phase of my life that I have uh, forgotten very <laughs> conveniently. <laughs> and I've brought back. <laughs> <laughs> How did you venture into um, the entertainment industry from? Dentistry? I always wanted to be in entertainment, um, but at a young age, when you're 18, 19, you don't really know uh -huh. um, what to do. And then influences from people around me were like, you know, you need to go into a secure career, something that pays you well, yeah. um, set up your, your life really. And so dentistry for me was something that seemed like the logical mm -hmm. pathway at that time. And even through the time when I was studying and when I was practicing, my heart and my passion wasn't really in it. Mm -hmm. And I grew up watching Bollywood movies. Yes. And every time I used to watch Bollywood movies, I'd be like, wow, you know, this is like, this is what I want to do. Right. Um, and my focus at that time was just acting. Okay. And I was at theater school in London, mm -hmm. as well as working as a dentist at the same time ah. and putting on theater productions. Good. I had an offer to come to Los Angeles yes. and um, <laughs> it's just opened up the doors as a dancer and a filmmaker. Right. Um, so it's been great. The journey's been exciting. I'm glad I made the switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been in California for over five years now? Yeah, I've been in California for about um, just under six years. Right. Um, and I've loved every minute of yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were just talking about how you used to live in England and you're, you think, hmm. What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, when I, when I go back, I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I don't know how I lived here in this, like, negative 40 degrees. <laughs> and when, when you're, like, faced with 80 degree weather all yeah, the time. Yeah, we are spoiled here. <laughs> yeah, you realize how unspoiled you were in the UK yeah. when you live in Los Angeles. <laughs> but you, did you start in comedy? Is that what you did? As yeah, I get, I get a lot of comedy roles. Um, and, you know, I think just the material that's been presented to me, I've been very lucky mm -hmm. that I've understood the comedy nature of it, right. um, be it theatre, movies, mm -hmm. um, TV and film. It's, it's always been something that just naturally comes to me. Mm -hmm. I don't force out and say, oh, I'm going to be a comedic actor. Right. Uh, but my own movies, I tend to really highlight the dark side yes. of filmmaking. I wanted to ask you about that because I noticed you have a lot of comedy work, but when you create your own films, it's a lot more dark and serious. Yeah, I, I do that because there's, I think there's a lot of stories within the South Asian community that are not told on cinema. A lot of the South Asian movies that are made <clears throat> are generally um, comedy value, right. which is great. You know, everybody mm -hmm. wants to go to the cinema and laugh and yeah. come out feeling happy. Um, but in terms of filmmaking, what makes me tick as a filmmaker and what really gets me passionate is directing these dark subjects and writing them. Right. And then what's even more rewarding is having these amazing actors who come on board, mm -hmm. like have has been the situation with Kazana. Uh -huh. Every single actor that was in that movie um, just kind of boarded my craziness <laughs> and my darkness and they never questioned me. And at the end of the shoot when we wrapped, uh -huh. they were like, that was amazing. Right. So it's it's a form of cinema that I think as South Asian actors, we don't really get that much. Mm -hmm. We don't really see it on cinema that much. Right. Um, so it's just, a, it's a niche that I enjoy a lot. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about Kazana because I know it's a revenge film. Kazana <laughs> was really a movie that I wanted to make several years ago, um, but because of different commitments, I was being pulled in different directions, mm -hmm. never found the time to make it. Um, and then last year, I had just gone on vacation to London and I pitched the idea to my parents and I said, I want to make this movie called Kazana. Uh -huh. And their response was like, oh my God, the US has made you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, they tried not to well, convince you um, to do it. <laughs> They weren't very encouraging, right. <laughs> let's just say that. And then I, um, I came back to the US and I had a very good friend of mine who I'd worked with on a previous project. Right. Um, unfortunately, he passed away in the pre-production on Kazana. Darren Rydstrom and I gave him the script and I said this is what I want to make and he said and I've said to him that everybody told me that I'm crazy and he took me out for coffee and he said oh I read the script and I was like Anne and are you and crazy <laughs> he goes yeah you're crazy but um, you'll be even crazier if you don't make this movie because there's so much in here 
that's not seen on screen. Right. That's what I was going to ask. Why were people saying that it was crazy? Is it because of the topics that you discuss in the film? There's a lot of abuse that is showcased in the movie. Um, in the South Asian community, domestic violence, unfortunately, is on the uprise. Mm -hmm. um, but what I've tried to show in Kazana is that it's not just domestic violence. There's a lot of mental abuse that happens against women, mm -hmm. a lot of emotional abuse that happens against women. Mm -hmm. um, and for a lot of the South Asians, they think that's normal behavior. But any oh. person outside the community who watches it will realize I think this person is being abused right, they need help they need help mm -hmm. and but when you're in that situation yourself you will you yourself will question am mm -hmm. I being abused because they've not laid a hand on me they're not physically attacking me and maybe it's me maybe right. I need to just adjust to this new life that I have and that's the kind of topics that that we've portrayed in Kazana mm -hmm. um, is to show when a person is undergoing abuse of the mental and emotional nature mm -hmm they themselves do question, right. is this is abuse? This, is it me or is it, yeah. am I imagining things? Yeah, exactly, yeah. am I imagining? And, yeah. and that's, that really is, is probably a quarter of the abuse that we show. Wow. Yeah, so. I want more information, <laughs> I want trailers, I want to know when I can see this film. You'll when have can... to <laughs> come to the screening. <laughs> yes, okay, when is it going to be released? I know you said September. We, September 1st is our release date. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking to go to international film festivals. Okay. We're already accepted into the Jaipur Film Festival wow. in India uh -huh. um, that will showcase in January. Mm -hmm. um, before then, we're just waiting to hear response from the big ones like Sundance, Berlin, right. Toronto. Um, so we're confident we've made a good movie. Yes. At the end of the day, um, the audience has to decide. Right. Um, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Exactly. It's been a great journey. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm really in debt to the amazing cast and crew uh -huh. that I had on this movie. Right. Um, the amazing people that have come and supported us. Mm -hmm. um, it literally, if you take the first step, it, it's just so magical how people just come and board you on, on that ship that you're on. Right. So it's, it's been a great yeah. journey. As a filmmaker, it's mm. given me so much confidence um, and so much courage to go and to do bigger things. Right. Now, for us, if we want to support the film, we want to go watch it, where can we check, get more information? Um, we have a Facebook page mm -hmm. called Kazana Movie, okay. and we have a Twitter page called Kazana Movie, okay. and that will be updated regularly to let you know where the screenings are happening, yes. um, so the whole of Los Angeles can see Yay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for being here and for telling this story. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Again, for more information on Kazana, don't forget to check out the Facebook page they might be playing in a city near you. Time for a quick break, but we have more Hollow Hollow when we return.